We were away recently and, as is our normal way, we cooked on electric supplied by our lithium batteries. So both our batteries were fairly depleted. However, I soon noticed that the input to the batteries, and I should have been getting some good solar power, um, was virtually zero, which was weird. Now, my solar panel feeds into a Victron MPPT, uh, which I upgraded to. So I need to check uh, what's coming from the solar panel and what's going to the battery. And that's what I'm doing here. Now, with my trusted multimeter, I set about finding out what's coming out of the battery and what's um, coming from the solar panel. And it seems what's coming from the solar is absolutely fine. And also connection to the battery is absolutely fine. But the battery is still getting no input from the MPPT. Weird. So I wanted to reset the controller, which you have to do by disconnecting it. But first I've got to make sure that the solar panel is safe because that puts out quite a current. And to do this, I'm going to put a couple of bits of wood on top of the solar panel so that uh, it thinks it's night time, so there's no output from it. Just covering it up, basically. So what I'm doing now, I'm disconnecting the live from the battery and the live from the solar panel, and that should then put the MPPT into a dead state basically and it should reset it as it's got no power. So I left it like that for a couple of minutes then reconnected it. It's a little bit like rebooting your computer it should solve everything. And as you can see the flashing LED lights have all gone out. There is also a fuse to the leisure battery. Uh, have, I have checked that and uh, it's fine. So time to test it after the uh, reset. So I'll um, uncover the solar panel again and uh, see what's happening. At this point it got interesting because I had a quick look at the app and it was working fine. But by the time I got to start recording it for this video, it had failed again. This figure here should be much higher. It should be around about 10 amps I believe. Uh, but at this rate it's going to take me about two months to charge my batteries up. Not good. So I logged a support request with uh, Victron Energy who were quite helpful and they forwarded me on to a company called Energy Solutions. I had quite a few conversations with them. I let them have screen dumps, uh, lots of questions backwards and forwards, but in the end they asked me if I could uh, post it back to them. As you can see, I've put the uh, wires into uh, cable connectors so that's safe. I just have to take this off now. And this is going back to uh, Victron. They're going to test it uh, and the guy said they'd probably end up replacing it. But we will see.
Now I better get that off to the post office. So I'm now waiting. My MPPT has been posted back to them and um, I haven't heard anything yet, but it's only been a couple of days. Uh, I'll update this vlog as soon as I hear back from them. Right, I had an email from Energy Solutions saying that they were going to send me a replacement uh, MPPT out. And uh, that was yesterday. And it's just arrived today. So, let's open it up and have a look. I would guess, because I didn't send mine back in the box, I would guess that that's a, a brand new one. So we're going to have a look. Go and install that and see how it works. They didn't tell me what the problem was with the other one, which would have been nice to know, but hey, if it solves the problem, that's the main thing. Now I'm gonna repeat the blanking out process so that uh, I can safely connect up the uh, MPPT. Now as you can see, this looks a little bit different to when you last saw this wired in. I've changed it a bit to make it easier if I have to reset the MPPT. Here's the solar and I've put a circuit breaker in line and that goes back to the two solar PV connections. And this is the battery through a circuit breaker and onto the uh, battery outlet of the MPPT. I've done it like that so that I can isolate the MPPT and I won't have to ever um, cover up the solar panel again, I can just switch it off. It's worth me pointing out that these circuit breakers are not to replace the existing fuse that's by the battery. This is in addition to the fuse that's already there. I think that fuse is 25 amps and these are 30 amp circuit breakers. So really it's just the on off that I want to use them for. I'm now going to have a look at my battery app and as you can see we're getting a nice charge now. So the fault all the way along was obviously the MPPT which thankfully has been replaced. Getting it replaced involved a lot of emails and talking to people on the phone uh, and lots of testing. So I hope this video just makes it a little bit easier for people uh, if they think they might have a problem with their MPPT.